Welcome to The Hollywood Scholar. I'm Jed Morgan, and it appears that the Batman film has finally released some behind-the-scenes promotional photos for their upcoming film with Leslie Grace in the role and costume of Batgirl. And these photos have been met with general criticism fans for its really lack of quality and lack of just basic <laughs> production value. And let's take a look at these photos that they've released. Now, I do have to note that I appreciate that they're trying to do a direct adaptation from the comics. I do believe that is a valuable thing to do. And this is definitely brought straight from the page of the comics, even though it's from an era of the comics that most people don't like and wasn't super successful and led really to the downfall of DC Comics as a whole. But you do have to note that. And the problem with this comes in where a lot of studios, they did market research and found out that people like to cosplay. So they're like, oh, we're going to make cosplaying really easy for them. And then they make shitty costumes like this. And then the Miss Marvel costume and the America Javas as well. But they have an innate misunderstanding of these people who love to cosplay. It's the challenge of making a complex costume that entices them to that type of work and sphere. And they enjoy it so much. If you're just going to make something so easy, it takes a lot of the thrill out of it for these types of people. And it's just not going to be as successful as you want and just look like shit. Because there are cosplays of Batgirl that fans made in... It may have taken them a few months, but they made that are 10 times better than this. So it is more, they're more than capable of achieving good cosplay. So debasing your costumes to match what you think cosplay should look like is just really, I feel insulting to those people who work so hard to make some good cosplay. And the people on Twitter who are defending this costume are saying, oh, you can't just like it. It's taken straight from the comics. It's comic accurate. That's what's important. They're also the same people who don't have a problem with uh, her character, Barbara Gordon, getting race and uh, hair swapped. They don't have a problem with that. They're like, oh, comic books don't matter in that situation. No, that's a highly hypocritical argument and is very indicative of what these people on Twitter are like. They're just using whatever side of the argument they have to get their opinion to win the argument. They're just using whatever evidence they feel is relevant and ignoring everything that contradicts their opinion. And this costume in and of itself, I think could have blown over the drama surrounding it could have blown over people would have forgotten about it. And then in a few weeks, a few months when the tra trailer drops, they're like, Oh, yeah, it does look bad. And to alleviate that situation, the director could have had some very simple comments if he said anything at all, very simple comments like, Hey, I hear your criticism. It's valid. I feel like we made the right decisions in the context of the story and I hope to prove you guys wrong when you come into the theater and see my product. A lot of the fans would be like, okay, uh, I can respect that. We'll, we'll wait to see. But that's not what the director did. The director decided to go the normal route of Hollywood and attack their fans with this rather aggressive post on Instagram. Now, I do get it's a meme. I, I love memes and it's not really huge issue but it's the definitely the thought behind it it looks like cosplay shut the fuck up and wait for the film she's slapping the fans you that's not a positive approach if they had gone the kind of the approach like hey i get where you guys are coming from i think we did a good job i hope to prove you wrong that is a very positive outlook but this is just like shut up stupid people i'm smarter than you and we're right you're wrong type approach and that is not a way to entice fans into theater people are just going to be like i guess i'm not going to watch the bat uh, batgirl movie now because they don't like their fans and that's going to cause a lot of issues for them coming up in the future when the box office comes out for this and it's not going to be good now there are rumors about a potential Second suit, I believe the director did confirm it, that there's a second suit that comes up and this is kind of like the early figuring out her abilities, figuring out her uh, story type costume, which is fine. Most superhero origin stories have an uh, early costume before they really get into the swing of things. And that's totally fine. But it's this situation and the other comments that the director has made that made the situation worse. People would have forgotten about this. And at this point, it doesn't matter that there's a supposedly better costume as well. It doesn't matter now because the director decided to make things an issue. If you make up drama, drama's going to find you. And that is what's happened here is the director made something out of nothing. I do believe this looks like shit. I do think it looks terrible, but I could have been won over and ignored it. 
fans always criticize initial looks at beloved superheroes. Like, I believe the Dark Knight got a lot of criticism for the new Batman suit in that trailer. But when the movie came out, it won over everyone. It's heralded as one of the best superhero movies of all time. So fans will criticize, and if it's good, they'll admit that they were wrong. Very common thing. Pretty much every superhero origin story goes through it. But if you're not willing to be as mature as those directors that came before you, you're not going to be heralded as one of the best superhero movies of all time. You're going to be forgotten and left on the wayside as so much of woke Hollywood movies are at this time. But that's all I have for today. I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you on the next video. Anon. If you like what I do here and want to see good, compelling stories that Hollywood will no longer give you, check out my book series, Odyssey of a Phoenix, a mythological epic about philosophy, morality, and modern-day mental illness issues. Books 1, Down in Flames, and Book 2, Apocalypse Then, currently on sale. Book 3, Kill the Dark, coming soon.